everyone, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art and don't you love this camera angle? So we're back at the old house and because I wanted to do a shop update, I had to bring my camera over here because husband is working in the art studio and he's making quite the racket and um, today was just a good day for me to turn the camera on so I thought ah, I'll bring it back home and you know see what I can do well of course I left the stand and all that stuff so you're rubber banded to something and hopefully you won't fall <laughs> anyway I, I really have missed you guys so before we get started with the shop updates I wanted to let you know that I will be likely doing a live video um, live YouTube on Tuesday, April 10th, and I think 1 o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. And I'm going to make my, um, my thank you tags for my Etsy shop that I've been promising uh, that I would do. So it will be fun. You know, we can chit-chat and have our, um, you know, our vlog day that way. And so that's the plan, 1 o'clock on Tuesday, April 10th. And if you're not there, you can always watch the replay. All right, let's get started with the shop updates. So basically, um, you know, I've been unpacking and I keep finding all this really interesting stuff. So I found this box. The box is kind of beat up and interesting too. It's got these little metal things on the corners, I guess, to hold it together. And I'm going to keep checking the camera to make sure that I stay in frame because I'm in a weird spot. So um, what this is, uh, is the, um, the brass stencils. This is the only thing, this is the end sign, the only extra thing. Otherwise, we've got the alphabet in the bottom of the box is really pretty, pretty beat up. It's got tape around it and whatnot. But anyway, it, you're, not, you're not after the box if you're interested in these. So this, these are brass stencils, and it's the whole alphabet. Okay, and I'm going to quick flip through them because I wanted you to see that some of them are kind of beat up, but they, I think they are, oh, there's the F, they are gorgeous. Okay, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, See, that one has a lot of paint on it, but I like it, actually. O, P, Q, R, come on, Jer, S, T, U, V, see, it's got, they must have been doing some stenciling with some paint, but I mean, I don't mind that stuff, and it, maybe you could get it off. W, X, Y, Z. Okay, so it's the whole alphabet. And I actually do have, so it's the whole alphabet in this cruddy box <laughs> with this and sign. That's going to be one listing. Okay, so I actually have, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I have a whole pile of um, odds and ends. It's not another alphabet. So uh, maybe I'll sell them off separately. I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you'd want, like, you know, your initials or something, I was thinking that might be fun. Meanwhile, I'm just going to set them aside. All right. I also found, um, you know, I carry the bingo boards, and I just love these. But I found three different colors, and why I hadn't, I don't know, you know, I'm shot. So we have orange, brown, and purple bingo cards, okay? And they're the big ones, okay? Three spaces. And the back, um, that's interesting. It, the backs are black most of the time. And sometimes they have writing on them. All right, forgive me if my voice trails off when I turn around to get my next item. As I said, I'm really not in my element here. Okay, so these are Pequino cards, and I decided to sell the whole set. It's a set of 12, and they're nice um, nice cardboard, nice thick 
cardboard and you could really have some fun with them. So the whole set is up for sale in the Etsy shop. Oh, by the way, I wanted to just jump back to the bingo cards. They are very thick. They would make an awesome journal cover and I really like these long ones because they would make a really cool um, journal. I just thought they would. All right, <clears throat> the next thing is um, these little back plates. They're called back plates. And um, quality cabinet accessories. And I'm guessing they would go on your door, your closet door, and then uh, maybe a handle. A handle would go in there. There's two holes. I'm not going to take them out of the package because, you know, you never know the person who buys them might like the package and just leave it on display or something. But um, I thought they were pretty cool. So I have a couple of these and this, this shape, too. I only have two of these. And I have a couple more of these. So this one is brass. If there's any glare, sorry for the glare. But this one's brass and black. And it's got two holes. And I thought they would look awesome on a journal. You know, um, I thought they just would look really good on a journal. And this one is kind of like a coppery tint with black. And it's got like a little uh, metal beading around the outside. They're really cute. All right, next. All right, I'm going to bring the bucket over. So you remember these things. Well, I got more of them. All right, hold on. I'm going to go get a ruler. All right, I ran off to get a ruler. So, and that's a big feat in and of itself in the house right now. <laughs> All right, so these are really cool. These are seven, almost seven and a half. And I would say, yeah, almost seven and a half. If you go this way, make sure I'm in frame. If you go from side to side, they're eight. Like on a diagonal, they're eight. But, you know, I had these in my shop and we put photographs and stuff um, inside. So this is how it looks with a photograph inside. And I did make a journal. You can go back and look in my um, lineup. Um, journal of Useless Knowledge, I think it was called. And I used one of these as a picture frame. Uh, not a big one like this because I just got these big ones. And, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. All right, so we have the big ones. So we got a couple of new sizes. So I'll just, <clears throat> excuse me, Betty, leave that there. So we got um, this cute little, maybe we should get that out of there, this cute little square one. And the square one is three inches by three inches inches and it looks like a flower I love it but I love that it's square and it's uh, you know small and I'll show you a couple of these at once stay in frame Jer yeah I'm so excited about getting these because I absolutely okay stay in frame I absolutely love this one's just a tiny bit smaller than that one, so I'll leave it out. I just love these pieces. So you can see, you can see that. And let's just use the ruler here. So this is a little over three inches wide, and it is about two and a half inches that way. This one is two and a half inches by one and three quarters and this round one down here is one and a half <clears throat> so cute 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 I love them I don't know I'm thinking I don't know what I'm thinking you definitely could put a small photograph in there um what did I do with my photograph <clears throat> Betty gosh so if you had a small photograph and there's little holes here that you could use, you know, little screws or, or brads or something really cute. I think they would be adorable. And of course, then these tiny, these tiny ones look like stars. Let's use the box for a background. <laughs> Not stars. What am I talking about? Suns. They look like little suns. I just love them. And they're pretty small. Uh, an inch and three quarters. 
This one's an inch and a quarter, and this one's an inch, you know, it's an inch and a quarter. That one's pretty close to that one. But I thought you could have some serious fun with them. All right, I love this one. <clears throat> Where's my box? Okay, adorable. So you gotta love metal though, right? Okay, and the last one I'm gonna show you. <laughs> right? It's another square. It's a bigger square, see? There's a smaller one, there's the bigger one. So let's measure this. It is five and a quarter by four and three quarters. And of course I'll have the measurements in the Etsy shop when I do when I sorry, when I do the listing. Oh, this is gonna be an awful video. I'm gonna get a lot of thumbs downs. <laughs> All right, so those are my metal pieces that I'm so happy to have gotten them back in stock and different ones at that because we sold a lot of these. All right, let me get this off the table. I'll just move it over there. <clears throat> get rid of the picture. And I'm sure you could still see that, but that's okay. All right, so fuses. All right, yeah, we found a whole box of fuses. And I don't know what they're from. I can't remember if they're from a radio or a television or what. Let's just keep using this orange box. So aren't they interesting? All right, that's not going to work. Jer! All right. Here's my, here comes my dirty hand. All right, so you see it's a fuse. And I think they're seriously cool. And there's going to be five. You're going to get, here they are. You're going to get five in um, an order. Okay. And they are, let's measure them. Um, I'm going to include the um, little tippy part here. You know, maybe we could zoom in. I'm afraid to touch the camera. Because as I said, it's rubber banded on. All right. Maybe that's a little better. So I'm me measuring from the metal, the metal tip, it's two inches. It's two inches, they're two inches long to that little nib and they are about, oh yeah, they're almost three, I would say they're three quarters of an inch wide around. So they're a nice size. They would make jewelry, awesome jewelry, assemblage art. I don't know, whatever you can think of. Bring my back. All right, I found, do you remember these? I had, um, of course, if you could see them, you could say yes or no. So I had some square ones in the shop, um, meaning, you know, they were in like a square. And these were cut out. And these, I just found these two random ones. So I am going to list them in the shop. And they were pretty nominal. I think they were under $3. We found this, and I'm not quite sure what to do with it because it is a part. But I think it's interesting. So it says Lincoln Penny Coin Folder, and it uh, says collection number two starts 1946. And it does have pennies in it. I have no idea what the value is. There's three. This probably was the whole book. There's three pieces. I am going to just sell the three of these as one thing and leave the pennies in there because I really don't want to deal with it and somebody might have fun with it. I don't know, a coin collector person, there might be a, a million dollar penny in here. I have no idea and honestly, I don't really care. So I hope someone enjoys, <laughs> someone will enjoy this. Look for that in the Etsy shop. All right, the next thing is a box of coin envelopes and it's a rather large box and I will not tell you that it is a hundred percent full like I am NOT going to count these and there is a little space at the end so they could be missing a few envelopes but it says on the outside of the label that there are 500 in a box and they are three and an eighth by five and a half and I have many boxes of these and since I'm trying to downsize a little bit I thought I would sell one or two boxes. So um, 
the envelopes. These are very old. I don't know that there's a date on them, but you can just, no, there isn't. But you can just tell that they're really old by the box is very old. And some of the envelopes are stuck shut. And you just kind of have to pry them loose. Or maybe if you steamed them um, over some, um, you know, some steam, some bo boil some water and do some steam. And it's not all of them, but you see sometimes they're a little stuck and they will pop, op pop right open. So I just want to let you know I'm going to sell the whole box. I'm going to sell a couple of whole boxes. And it is a little on the heavy side, so I'm not sure what the postage will be. This is going to go in my de-stash uh, section because it is a pre-owned, uh, it was mine, Power Zapper. I have a couple of them, and I decided to um, sell this one. So what on earth is a Power Zapper? So you push this, um, and this gets really hot, and it burns off your beading thread instead of cutting it and it it um, like sizzles it with like a little a little knot on the end we used to use them when we were working on um, bead weaving projects and we didn't want the thread to unravel so I'm going to part with mine and at the moment uh, there is a battery inside of it I believe I think I think it opens this way yeah it opens this way and it is the battery is still half decent. It still gets hot because I checked it. And, um, you know, if anything, you might need to uh, replace the battery. And I'm going to close this later. All right. I hate to do that kind of stuff on camera. So <laughs> I found these cute little, and I know we're still zoomed in a little, so I have to stay right here. I found all these cute little um, booklets. So I know you guys love these types of things. So let's do like one at a time. This one says 1905, um, and it's got somebody's name. Compliments of Jacob Walder Reeds Harness and Mill Supplies, and it's from Patterson, New Jersey. And I will tell you that it is um, loose in the cover. And here's the calendar, 1905-1906. So it's quite old but um, it's not brittle it's just it's a nice it's in nice shape really um, I'm sure you could put this back in if you wanted to so let's look at the book and it's oh my gosh oh now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell it it says my name can you see that it says my name is Ida that was my mom's name um, and her address East Greenville, Pennsylvania, and in case of accident, please notify, blah, blah. Oh, it's really, oh, it's interesting. All right, so let's just quickly look through this, or not so quickly. So you can see it's got a little bit of um, damage up here, but I mean, these things, I treasure these things. I have a bunch in my own personal stash. So, okay, so it was for your addresses and stuff like that there. And, um, oh, it looks like a bunch of pages were cut out. Oh, what a shame. But you know what? It's, in my mind, it still has value. And there's a map. I mean, somebody could use this for collage fodder. This would be fun. Oh, my gosh. Look at the maps. Wow. Those are seriously cool. The United States. So it's the whole United States over a couple pages. Republic of Panama. And let's not make this too painful. So it's a bunch of maps. Uh, the United Census from 1900, arranged in alphabetical order. So, oh my gosh, how many people in each state back in the 1900s? Oh, it says United States Census and Territories. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is really interesting. So let's see how many people were in Pennsylvania. It looks like 6 million... 302,115 people. And then they give a comparison to in the 1890s, there was 5 million. So we got a whole extra million people in Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh, this is really interesting. 
All right, and so there's the uh, thing. It doesn't look like Ida wrote in it. So there you have it. Looks like she cut some of the pages out, though, for some reason. All right, so I am going to put it in the Etsy shop, even though it's a little chewed. I like to call it chewed because it, it has some serious history and 1905, and I know somebody that's very creative can do something fun with this. So look for that in the shop. All right, so I have a bunch of books here. And this one, I can't really read. I think it says Clark. No, it says Diary. Diary on the front. 1934. Personal. All right, so this one has writing in it. And I'm not going to go through each page like I just did with the 1905. But you can see it's got writing in it. And, oh, wow, it's got a lot of writing in it. And that is awesome. I love... Um, old written pages and this is in pencil so the whole book is full oh and you know what I forgot to tell you the size so this one's two and a half inches by uh, four inches and let's look at this little beauty is uh, five and a half inches by almost three inches all right move on because these are all these little ones this one says notes oh and here's another one with the census this one's in 1930 and tells you how many people. So you could compare from 1905 um, to 1930. Let's see, where's, where's Pennsylvania? Nine million. Wow, we're growing, aren't we? Nine million and some. Okay, so this one is a daily reminder. And obviously he wanted to remember about his bicycle because that's what he wrote on the first page. 1938 calendar. So if you know anybody who was born in 1938, we could look up their birthday and see what day they were born. And here we have some sketches. I'm, I, I don't know why I always go from the back to the front. Some blank pages in the back. And then um, lots of writing. Lots, lots of writing. Great collage fodder. You know, you could even... Let's see. I don't know what that is. You could even... All right, there's a little separation there but it's it's not it's still intact you know what I mean it's just showing a little separation you could even like gesso over this and do small art okay that's that one boy this is gonna be a long video all right this one says notes too and I really don't know why there's a little piece of paper in there this one is from 1935, and it's just the same as the one that I just showed you. But this one's a couple years older, and there's the census again. All right, I'm really curious. Pennsylvania. There's still 9 million. That's weird. In a couple of years, it didn't grow. All right. So, same thing. Written. Notes. Blah, blah. Okay, handwriting. Pencil. And let's see if there's any empty pages in the back. Nope. The whole thing's full. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm a liar. Pants on fire. There's <laughs> there's two pages back. No, there isn't. There's one page maybe. No, the book is full. Okay, the book is full. All right. The last one is a memo book. Indexed. This one, oh, now we're getting old. This one's from 1959. And we have sold very similar to these in the Etsy shop. And this one has um, alphabet index on it. And well, I don't know what they're keeping track of. I can't tell. But this one's pen. Pen, 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 pen. Oh, lots of blank pages. Oh, that's nice. Oh, is that all blank? Yes, it is. Okay. So it's just really the first couple pages have marks on them. And after that, it is blankola. All right, guys. That's it. If I find anything else, I'll come back. Otherwise, I hope you have a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And do not forget, we are going to do a live on Tuesday, April 10th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you then. <music>